Basically, still the same day as the vlog from yesterday. But now I'm going to a private uh, VIP event that's happening. Uh, it's actually being put on by Car and Driver Magazine and Toyota. Uh, they're going to be talking about the new Toyota Mirai. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm not sure if I am. It's their new fuel cell vehicle. Get a chance to look at it. I'm not really sure if we're going to be driving it or not. It's a possibility, but it is in. Uh, close to downtown LA, so I got a little bit of a drive. But these events are always very interesting, uh, pretty exclusive, not too many people there. And as a reminder, Wheels and Waves is coming up on February 19th. It's only a couple weeks away, man. Get those cars up shining. Toyota makeup and my fifteen thousand dollar mouth. Why? Why are you here? What? Are, what are you doing? I'm here to uh, contribute to the Toyota announcement of their hydrogen car. Yeah. And talk to some of the people from uh, Car and Driver. They're one of the sponsors of the whole get together. Did you think when you were working at Chrysler back in the day that you'd be alive long enough to see fuel cell and electric cars and all that? Well, I knew that yeah. they were experimenting way back then. Yeah. The thing is that that Toyota has shrunk this little block down to where it could fit underneath the car. Yeah. Which is quite remarkable. But hydrogen has to be compressed in order to fit into the car under very high pressure. Right. So there's still a bulk delivery of compressed hydrogen to the refueling point. Yeah. And they haven't quite... Now they, they haul it around the country in big 18-wheel flatbeds. So 
These two guys from Stanford have invented a way to make hydrogen continuously at a cheaper in cost level. So yeah, yeah. we'll see how that goes. I'm still waiting to see if they can shrink it down to Hot Wheels size because, <laughs> or maybe skates. You know, well, yes, they, 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 they're they're gonna they'll have. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's hydrogen or a little, bit, but with uh, cells to drive watches and cameras and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's actually better than a battery once you get the whole thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, enjoy your food. Okay. okay. All right. facing technology, facing the industry, and with alternative uh, vehicles, uh, fuel vehicles. And we've got a great lineup tonight, including a panel discussion on mobility and sustainability that will be broadcast live on Facebook. And we also have an interview with legendary uh, designer Sid B that will be appearing in an upcoming Car and Driver podcast. Uh, we're going to move, I think, away from ownership to more usership that transportation is going to be something that eventually is going to be free and tied to other activities. One of the things that we might not be thinking so much about now that we will see more of in the future is the, the work, the artisanal work starting to come back. People begin to live closer to where they work and build community. I think we'll see more of that community spirit and the arts and crafts that go with that and the gaming that goes with that. So in my city, one of the ways that we're changing the story is we are using data and data-driven outcomes to inform a new narrative. So we've recently completed our Greenhouse Gas Emissions Inventory for 2015, and we've, seen that we've been able to verify that Santa Monica has reduced its greenhouse gas emissions 20% below 1990 levels by the end of 2015. And Toyota, we have a vision that's it's a bit of a cliche, I understand, but uh, it's, it's harmony with nature. So we want to have more than just a zero impact on the environment. We want to have a net positive impact on the environment. And it's more than just making zero emission vehicles. It's about everything in that spectrum that's a part of that. So it's about you know, how do you manufacture the vehicles in a way that has you know, reduced energy consumption, uh, reduced water use, uh, and, a, and a, a target towards a zero carbon use in that manufacturing. Uh, 
For anyone who has not seen the blockbuster films of Star Trek, Prime, Aliens, and Blade Runner, Sydney is the person who imagined and designed and created and illustrated. He's referred to as a visual futurist of the entire environment. What's going on with movies, the vehicles, the, the environment, the surroundings. Sid is responsible for the design, illustrating, and creating. So he has shaped our, our image of pop culture. I like to think of it as he shaped um, how we imagine the future is. Interesting event, really interesting. Big thanks to Car and Driver for uh, bringing me out there. It's about 24 hours later. Spent most of the day, you know, getting uh, work done, and, and, and then it started pouring down rain, which it is now. But fuel cell technology, uh, you know, it's been around for for a bit, but it's never been in a position to really be uh, affordable, and uh, and the infrastructure hasn't been there, and that's really starting to change now. And that's it's a very exciting time. It's a very cool time, and I admire Toyota for uh, for stepping it up and creating this vehicle that people really seem to like. I'm looking forward to the time that I can actually drive one. But that's about all the time I got. So uh, uh, that was really fun. Always enjoy going to do those things. But uh, tomorrow I have a big announcement, very large announcement coming uh, about wheels and waves. We have something very very special happening. Actually, a couple of things. Uh, I'll be making that announcement tomorrow. Uh, we're also going to be going to the Mullen Museum, which is very cool. It's kind of like a miniature Peterson Museum. So lots of really amazing cars, assuming it's not going to be pouring down rain. Well, we may just go anyway. But as I said, huge announcement. Very excited about this. Uh, can work this out, and uh, this is going to be something happening at Wilson Way. So be sure to watch tomorrow's vlog. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Be sure to subscribe, and always remember, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and always be sweet inside. We'll see you tomorrow.